Hey guys, it's Mad Chen here. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making cute Christmas images, which are very easy for beginners to draw and follow along to. You can also turn these into stickers with the white outlines. After the drawings, I'll leave links to how to make stickers at the end of the video as well as in the description. I also share Procreate tips throughout the video as well as other useful Procreate links in the description. So get your iPads ready and do a draw with me. We'll get started with our Christmas drawings in a few moments. Welcome back fellow artists and if you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm Mad Chen and I'm a digital illustrator. I create Procreate tutorials for beginners. Welcome back everyone! First things first, we're gonna set up our color palette. We'll be using these colors on the screen, so make sure you place the colors in the exact same position as I've done here so that you can follow along with the tutorial. If you're not sure how to create a color palette, you can check out one of my tutorials entitled How to Create Color Palettes in Procreate, which I'll leave the link up above and also in the description below. Next, you'll need 2048 by 2048 pixel canvas size for all of the drawings in this tutorial. If you're not sure how to create canvas sizes, you can click on the link above that shows you how to create canvas sizes and I'll leave the same link in the description below. For the candy cane, go into the brush library, go down to the calligraphy category and choose the monoline brush. Then go into color palettes and choose black. Then adjust your brush size to 60%. First, we'll draw an arc, then we'll draw another arc over it, making it parallel. Then we'll add two lines to get the base shape. Then add two arcs to close the top and bottom of the candy cane. Next, go to layers and add a new layer so that we can draw our Christmas bow. Again, we're using simple shapes. If you find it difficult to draw objects on top of each other, go to layers, toggle off the layer that you don't currently need, and continue drawing. When you're done, you can go back to layers and toggle on the candy cane. Next, click on the candy cane layer and click on the eraser tool. And we'll delete the candy cane part that's showing through the bow. Once you're done, go back to layers and merge the bow and the candy cane layers together by pinching them together like so. Then add a new layer and drag that new layer under our candy cane image. Then we'll click on the candy cane image, which will bring up a list on the left. Go down the list and click on reference. Then click on the empty layer underneath. To make things a little bit easier to see, toggle off background color layer. Go to color palettes and choose white and fill your candy cane with that color. Go back to color palettes and choose orange on the bottom left. Drag that color onto the bow. We'll go back to color palettes and choose red. Then we'll increase our brush size to max. Go back to layers and toggle on the background color layer. And click on the colored candy cane icon and choose alpha lock from the list. Then we can draw on our red stripes. Go back to color palettes and choose black and take the brush size to 60%. And we're going to draw two V shapes on our bow to complete the image. For the Christmas tree, we need a new layer. Next, go into actions, click on the canvas tab, toggle on drawing guide, then click on edit drawing guide just underneath. Click on symmetry down here, then click on options to make sure assisted drawing is toggled on. Then click done on the top right of the screen. We'll draw on one side of the line and the other side will mirror whatever shape that we draw. So we'll just draw simple shapes like these. When you're drawing with this method, make sure that your shapes are closed. You can see there's no gap between the start and end of my lines. We'll do the same for the tree trunk. Once you're done with that, go back to actions and toggle off drawing guide. Go to layers, then add a new layer. To make things easy, we'll draw a simple star to start. Then click on the erase tool and erase the inner lines of the star. Next, click on the transform tool and drag your star down to the top of the tree. Click on the erase tool again, then go to layers and click on the base tree layer and erase any lines showing up inside the star. Once you're done, go back to layers and merge those two image layers together. Then click on the tree icon and go down the list and choose reference. Then click on the empty layer underneath. Go to color palettes and choose green and fill your tree with that color. 
Go back to color palettes and choose brown and fill your tree trunk with that color. Then we'll go back and choose orange and drag that onto the star. Then we'll get red from color palettes and we'll draw circles to represent ornaments on our tree. You can tap on the screen with another finger to create a perfect circle and I'll fill it in with red. To complete the image, I'm just going to add some white ornaments. As a Procreate tip, I want to add that if your image is not centered, just go back to Layers, select all the layers of the image. Next, click on the Transform tool and move your image to the center of the canvas until you see a yellow cross. We'll need a new layer for our snowman. We'll start off with a basic oval using black. Then we'll draw this shape under our oval, which will be the scarf. Then we'll draw a bigger oval underneath. Then draw two small oval shapes like so for the ends of the scarf. Then we'll draw this wide arc for the brim of the hat. Then we'll draw another arc for the main part of the Christmas hat. And close off our shape. Then draw a perfect circle for the end. Then we'll add some black circles for the eyes. And basic shape sticks for the hands. Then we'll take the brush size down to 13% so that we can draw on some buttons. When you're happy, go to layers and add a new layer and drag that new layer under our image. Then click on our snowman icon and choose reference from the list. Then click back on the empty layer underneath. Next comes the fun part because we'll go to color palettes and fill in our snowman. You can follow with the colors that I'm using here or you can mix and match your own. Let's also give him some rosy cheeks. I've decided to give him a nose, so I'm going to go back to layers and click on our outline layer. And I'll just go back to color palettes and choose black. I'll draw a triangle shape for the nose. Then I'll go back to layers and click on the colored layer underneath. And then I'll choose orange from color palettes and fill the nose in with orange. Then I'll choose red from color palettes and increase the brush size to draw patterns in the scarf and hat. Then I'll go back to layers and toggle off the background color layer. Then choose white from color palettes and fill in our snowman. Then we can toggle on the background color layer again. If you want to turn these into stickers, you'll need a white outline. I can show you how to do that in one of my tutorials, which I'll leave the link up above and also in the description below. Thanks for watching guys! Don't forget to click on the stickers video for the next step. I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video.